You paid the price for me, Christ Jesus. Way back on Calvary, that's why I praise you. I lift you up and I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. Praise the Lord to the ones here at 519 South 4th Street and the ones in tune with us on Facebook. We greet the most trusting in the Lord, the same Jesus Christ, who is first in life. This time, before we tell our announcement, we will have our announcement about the first day of church. Mother events, this all for you to whip the party. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. I was glad when they said unto me, Amen. Let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I thank and praise him this morning for being in the house. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Announcements are as follows on Wednesday, our noonday prayer will be here at the church. Amen. Hallelujah. 12 noon. Amen. We'll be praying for healing, deliverance. Amen. Those ones that are on drugs. Amen. If you're sick or you're broken. Amen. Financial difficulties. Whatever it is. Amen. If it's in the house. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And on uh, Wednesday, amen, the Lord said the same now, but he has me down here for encouraging word, but I know it's me, amen, hallelujah, so, amen, so we just thank and praise God for that, we work that out, amen, and on uh, uh, Friday night, amen, and on the fifth Sunday, it's yours truly, amen, hallelujah, will be the speaker for, for those two nights on uh, Friday night and, uh, uh, not this Friday, but uh, on fifth Sunday, amen, hallelujah, and I'll Zoom, amen, um, by the study, amen, hallelujah, Elder Norman Williams, the teacher, amen, we just came out of temptation, the Lord really blessed us with that, that subject, amen, and the ID and the Zoom number is 613-459-8540, amen, and the passcode is the number one, capital P, small T, small A, capital B, and capital W, and that will be the same passcode and ID number for on Friday night. Amen, hallelujah. And our online giving, amen, hallelujah, you can do it by giving to Gift of Five, Holy Temple, by Lord Jesus Christ, 519, amen, hallelujah, and uh, South Pearl Street, or you can do it by doing cash out, hallelujah, dollar sign, Holy Temple, 519, amen. I do want to say that uh, birthdays, amen, Sister Washington's birthday was on yesterday, amen, we did celebrate uh, for her birthday, amen, and Today is the 23rd. I know that Miss Jennifer isn't, isn't here, and I don't know whether she's watching or not, but a very good friend, amen, that was a member here, amen, and she left and went to Washington, amen, it's her birthday, amen. Happy birthday, Miss Jennifer, amen, in Jesus' name, amen, hallelujah. We thank God for her, amen. And the Holy Temple values are reverence the house of God, amen, we have a respect for each other, our friendliness, amen, supportive of the ministry, amen, and to be faithful in stewardship. Amen. Hallelujah. So we thank and praise God this morning for all of the announcements, amen, and for our uh, drummer, our, our brother ASAP Sebastian, amen, he will be stationed, uh, he's going to Japan. So let's remember that young man in Jesus' name, amen, that the Lord will continue to cover him, amen, to watch over him in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So we just thank and praise God. You all pray for me this morning. Uh, you know, see, like when I get here, just get some songs that be coming to me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I sung one early this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you ever need the Lord before, you sure do need him now. Oh, if you ever need the Lord before, we sure do need him now. Oh, if we ever need the Lord before, we sure do need him now. We need him in the morning when the sun goes up. We need him in the evening when the sun goes down. We need him every hour of the day. If you ever need the Lord before, we sure do need him now. Oh, if we ever need the Lord before, we sure do need him now. Yes, if we ever need the Lord before, we sure do need him now. We need him in the morning when the sun goes up. 
Every day with Jesus, sweeter than the day before. Every day with Jesus, I love him more and more. Jesus is my keeper. He's the one that I'll adore. Every day with Jesus, is sweeter than the day before. Oh, every day with Jesus. 
Jesus. Sweeter than the day before. Every day with Jesus. I love him more and more. Jesus saves and keeps me. He's the one that I adore. Every day with Jesus. Sweeter than the day before. Oh, yes. Every day with Jesus. Sweeter than the day before. Oh, yes. Every day with Christ Jesus, I love him more and more. Jesus saves and keeps me. He's the one that I adore. Every day with Jesus. Every day with Jesus. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. You all pray for me. Amen. Everything that Jesus is, you know, yes, yes, yes. is in the day before. You just can't help but to say thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Because he is sweet. Mm. Amen. Sweeter than the honey in a honeycomb. Yes, he is. Amen. Yet blessing us going and coming. Mm. What a mighty God is there. Amen. Taking a thought from those passages, if it comes directly from the fifth verse. Having the form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. The thought that I'm sharing is a form of godliness without the power of faith. A form of godliness without the power of faith. And we are assured and aware that without faith it is impossible to please God. Amen. And that we walk by faith and not by sight. And that we have our hope in him that he is coming back again to receive us unto himself. Sharing with us that we must be ready for he is coming. As he shared with his disciples, I'm going away, but I'm coming back again to receive you unto myself that there where I am, there ye may be also. Mm -hmm. So here we find uh, the, the ideal or the statement of godliness, having a form of godliness. But then we must understand that godliness has to deal with God and the spirit of God that dwells within us. And it carries with it the quality and the character of conforming to the will of God, to be more and more like Jesus. Yes, yes. Amen. And in, in, in words as well as in deeds. Amen. The journey isn't an easy one, amen, but it's one that we must forge through. Yes, yes. Amen. If it was easy, everybody can make it. Well, Thank you, Lord. Amen. We must remember that we are here to reverence, becoming aware, amen, of the sovereignty of our God. Amen. And giving him the due or respect in every aspect of our lives. Uh -huh. Amen. From the tongue that is uncontrollable by man, but it is controlled by God. Amen. That our conduct, amen, must reflect that we are on the Lord's side. Amen. That we've come out of darkness and into his marvelous light. Amen. amen. That he has forgiven us, removed our sins far from us. Amen. We're preparing, amen, through every storm and every trial and every situation that we encounter. It's chipping off a little of that old flesh that we might be ready when he comes. When we look at ourselves now, amen, we're on our way to get ready. Because there are some things that are still hindering, amen, our forward progress. Amen? But we must become aware of that because the scripture tells us to lay aside every weight of sin. Uh -huh. That do it so easily and beset us. So it's saying that there are things still left, amen, that have to be chiseled away. Mm -hmm. We might have to go back to the potter's house. Amen. And get on his wheel. Let him shape and mold us and find the things that are in us that they might be removed. Mm -hmm. And when we hear the word of God, it finds those things that need to be removed. It opens up the doors, amen, that those things might come out if we want them to come out. Uh -huh. But if we want to hang on to them, the word will just go right over our head. Well. It doesn't apply to me. But it apply to someone else. Or I'm not ready to do that yet. Mm -hmm. In an all manner 
amen, of explanation or excuses, amen. But Timothy here and Paul gives him some characteristics of those that are in the church but have a form of godliness. Mm -hmm. All manner of attributes, amen, that it shares with us about them that should not be a part of our walk. Mm -hmm. Because we say we love God, and if we love him, we shall keep his commandments. Mm -hmm. Because his commandments are not grievous, they're not hard for us. And Peter tells us, but as he which has called you is holy, amen, so be ye holy. Have in all manner of conversation because it is written, Be you holy, for I am holy. Uh -huh. And every day in our home and in our workplace, we are striving to be more and more like Jesus, to let our light shine. Amen. It reflects, amen, the character of God. Amen. That love and tenderness and patience, but above all, forgiveness. Uh -huh. Amen. Because the word declares, For holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. And, and we want to see him and hear him say unto us through all that we've been through and all that we have succeeded in, well done. The good and faithful servant. We can follow Paul the devil when he said, while I was there, I fought a good fight. I kept the faith. And that good we must continue, amen, to strive to do, amen, from the pulpit to the door. Amen. To continue to hold up the blood-stained banner. Continue to have faith in our God no matter what we're going through. Because what we are facing is what God allows. And what God allows has to be for our good. Yes, godliness. That character and devotion. Amen. And that uprightness to our God. Amen. So Timothy must be aware of the various attributes and the various characters that exist in the church. Amen. Because when the gospel is preached, it is preached to all. Amen. Those that come inside of the facility. Amen. The place where we worship God. Some of them are seeking a better relationship with God. And some of them are just coming because friends are there. And some of them are coming just to see what's going on. So you have both those that are considered on the good side and those that are not on the good side in, in, in reflection of what's in their minds. Thank you, Lord. The purpose from which they have stated that I'm coming. Some come because, amen, of the uh, exterior, how the building looks, amen, and even the aesthetics that are in the inside. Thank you, Lord. And some want to show off, amen, this great uh, temple or this great Amen. A uh, 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 dwelling place. Amen. That the Lord has blessed us in. Amen. So good and bad, right or wrong, the word must be preached in season and out of season. Mm -hmm. And it might reprove, reprove and exalt with all long suffering. Mm -hmm. But we give them a clear idea that the gospel, amen, has to be preached to every soul. Because every soul belongs to God. Mm -hmm. And so when those that or not like us or like minded come in. We can't throw them out. But God said, let the weed in a chair let it grow together. Uh -huh. Amen. He is the only one that knows how, amen, to separate and to pull those things away that we may all be with one accord. Mm -hmm. Have like mindedness. He can help us one to another. Only He can do it. Amen. Sometimes they may be irritable, sometimes unbearable. Thank you, Jesus. But if we love God, because God loved them as well, uh -huh. we must love them with a pure heart. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But if we could put it out, pray God, we have nobody in the church. Well. But the church belongs to God, and he assured us that the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Amen. Amen. Because it's his. We are his bride, waiting for that day that we might have our ceremony with him. Amen. Joining together as one. Thank you, Lord. And so that gospel that is preached in season and out of season, amen, is for all of us. And if we receive that, amen, those attributes that have been spoken of will not be a part of our character or attributes. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus has said, amen, on many occasions, amen, that we're going to have those that are sustainers and seducers, amen, along with us. 
uh, those that are sinful minded and sinful in nature are going to be with us. Just like he said, we'll have to pour with us always. You will have those that are in sin with you always. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And that word one day will prick their heart. Uh -huh. Amen. That they will become a new creature in Christ Jesus. Where all things will pass away. And all things have become new. Amen. Amen. Things may seem as though they may be getting worse in the church. But it's not getting worse in the church. Because the church is a spiritual organism that belongs to God. Uh -huh. Amen. But the facility that we're in with all kinds of people in it. Amen. Good and bad. Thieves and dumb thieves. Oh, Lord, thank you, Jesus. We have them in the church, and they need to, uh, when it is incumbent upon them, they mean, to accept Christ as their personal Savior. Uh -huh. And you can't make nobody get saved. Well. I mean, they got to want this thing. They have to get to that point that they said, and, you know, say, I'm tired of being tired. Yes, yes. I'm, I'm sick of this. Amen. I need a change in my life. Amen. And our God is the only one that can make that change. Amen. Amen. So through. Uh, the situation uh, uh, that he's encountered as Paul shared with him these attributes of those that are in the sanctuary. Amen. Uh, have a form of godliness. They, they look like they are pleasing, they're pleasing to God. They, they sound like they are pleasing to God. Amen. They just look like it. Amen. Sometimes they can out shout you, out sing you. Amen. And even out take your tithes and all of those kinds of things. Amen. Because they're doing it just for a show. Right, right. Thank you, Lord. But we must reflect on who he is in our lives. Uh -huh. Amen. Song long time we heard, sir, this Jesus said, don't let the devil ride. If you let him ride, he will surely try to drive. Well, I won't say he'll try to drive. He's going to drive. Well, when he gets on board, he's going to take full control. Uh -huh. And you'll be following what he has to say. Yes. We're living in what is called perilous times. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. I said we're living in what is called perilous times. Uh -huh. Amen. Wherein persecution has arrived, not only from the inside, but outside as uh -huh. well. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. That some become, amen, ashamed of the gospel. Amen. I don't want to be persecuted. I, I don't want to be forsaken. Amen. I want an easy life. Thank you, Jesus. But the word again assured us that they that live godly, they're going to suffer persecution for his name's sake. And if we endure hardness as a good soldier, one day we will hear him say, Amen, well done. Amen, but until that day, we must hold on to God's unchanging hand. Regardless of the persecution, amen, from without or from within, we must yet uplift the name Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. For these are difficult times. Amen. We find that since the pandemic has arrived, many are not returning to their place of worship. Uh, they become comfortable sitting on their bed, in their pajamas, watching, amen, the preacher preach. Uh, but our God assured us, uh, regardless of these conditions, we must not forsake the sinning of ourselves, amen, as others do. Uh, we must come together in fellowship, uh, encouraging one another, uplifting one another, glorifying God together because we are one. Uh, Yes, we have a different amen, aspects of gift, but yet all to glorify God. I can't out sing you. I can't out talk you. Amen. We can all do what God has given us to do together. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. That if we are joining together with one accord, not hanging on the cord, but joining together with one accord. Amen. In these difficult times, amen, we'll find it difficult sometimes. Amen. To have a means or even the ideal of wanting to go to church. Because you see the church sometimes as being a place where mess is, where trouble is. But the church is a place where there's healing, where there is deliverance. Even among all that's going on, God is still that God that can still heal those. Amen. That, that needing of healing. He can still broaden the mind of those that need their minds open. In the midst of a crooked and perverse generation, our God. He can still do it because there's nothing too hard for him, regardless of whether we're living in perilous time or not. Yeah, his name is above every name, and we should give him praise regardless of what you're going through, because what you're going through is for your good. God assures all things work together for good to them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. He never 
Glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. I say glory to his name. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, there is corruption. Amen. I say there is corruption and wickedness. It should not be a part of our gathering. But when everybody comes together, thieves, robbers, whatever they are, they're here to hear or to rob you. Because when Satan comes, he comes to steal, he comes to kill and destroy. Good God Almighty. As long as you let him in, in your environment, in your area, become a close friend of yours. Amen. You're leading your foundation of love. Because any man that loves the world is not a friend of God. Good God Almighty. Perilous time. They come with men that have a heart of wickedness, even in the body. Hallelujah, Jesus. Sin makes the time that we end more perilous. It's getting worse out there. Murders everywhere. Rapes all around. Crooked politicians. Yeah, even crooked preachers. Good God Almighty. No, they are not in mind, or they don't have in mind. Amen. Praising God. What they have in mind is pleasing themselves. Good God Almighty. When there is general corruption in our mind, hallelujah, our manner and our temper, the man of men change. We no longer look like him. We no longer sound like him. But we were in the building. Good God Almighty. Oh Lord, we're living in dangerous times with men and women that were sick of the word and going the own way. You can't have it your way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father amen, but by me. If you're going down the broad road, you're going down the wrong road. But the way to Jesus is straight and narrow. So narrow, it's hard to back up. Because someone is emulating you. Oh, someone is imitating you. They see something in you that they want in their life. If they see you back up, they're going to be discouraged. My God. But oh, well, hold on. Uh, and don't let go. Uh, regardless uh, of what's going on uh, around uh, or even in the church. Uh, yay! Uh, Timothy, uh, you must know. Uh, yeah, the trouble time. Uh, you must know. Uh, I'll be with you uh, through your trouble time. Uh, I'll be with you uh, through perilous time. Uh, if you hold on uh, to my chain in hand, uh, you can let it This good news uh, that is preached, uh, proclaiming the gospel, uh, oh Lord, uh, it should uh, bring about a reformation. Uh, Within your life, it should bring about a change in your mind. Let this mind be in you, but also in Christ Jesus. Good God Almighty, with that mind of Christ, you can't endure what it seems impossible. Amen. To do. Because all things are possible to them that believe. Let him know, let them know that I'm still away. Let them know I won't leave them. I'll always be with them. Let them know that a form of God in there, the God Almighty, without faith in God, won't make your soul prosper. Isn't that right? Don't put it on nobody else. It's me, oh Lord. 
It's me, oh Lord. Lord. Yeah. Stand in, yeah. in the need. Yeah. Hallelujah. Sin always who you we from God. Yeah, the word declared. All have sin. They come short for the glory of God. But the way back to God is through repentance. Confessing our fault. One to another. Get right with God and do it now. Don't let the sun go down on the ground. Good God Almighty, don't blame your neighborhood. Don't blame your circumstances. Oh, no. Oh, look at them as a pathway to a rising land. If I endure like those of old, yeah, like Daniel, he endured. He kept the faith. Like the Hebrew boys, they endured. Even at the risk of dying, they endured the hell on. Likewise, we will share the same. Enduring, even in this time, you can better rise. Men forsake the church because they feel it is corrupt and that it's running rapid in the leadership. Oh Lord! Who, who, who we hold responsible to feed us the word of God. To be that example of rising land. If the preacher can't do it, then who can? He's the man that God called. He's the one that God has placed as the iron shepherd. If he is in through him by the things of the world, oh, yeah. he can't preach, resist the devil, and he'll flee from you. Oh, oh, my God, the church today has compromised yeah. its faith, its tradition. Good God from Zion, the church has become a social institution. My God, whereby it should be the spiritual entity. That when you walk in, you can feel the presence. In the atmosphere, you can feel God is in the place. Yeah, mess may be going on, but God is in the place. The devil may try to steal your soul and steal your joy, but God. God is in the place. Whosoever will, can call on that name. Whosoever will, can give him praise. And don't let the devil rise. Yeah, you won't leave here the same way you came. My God. But if you miss that feeding word, you leave worse than you came. My God. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, some do say uh, that the leadership uh, is corrupt. Uh, they haven't led us straight. Uh, my God, uh, they complain uh, that the church today uh, has lost its view. Uh, good God Almighty, uh, they complain uh, that the church has become uh, a place of entertainment. Uh, good God Almighty, uh, what preachers. Uh, Try to out preach one another. Uh, well, members uh, try to shine uh, by singing better than one another. Uh, oh, uh, good God Almighty. Uh, one group uh, sits on the left, uh, pointing fingers uh, at those on the right. Uh, those on the right uh, shaking their head. Uh, they don't know me. Uh, they can't accuse me. Uh, I'm living uh, all I know. Uh, is that right? Uh, we could have an ear to hear. Uh, with the say the Lord, uh, with a mind on Jesus, uh, you can make it. 
Speak your mind on Jesus. You can have joy. Joy is unspeakable and true glory. Isn't that right? They say the church is more about personality. Yeah, then Jesus. The God Almighty. Some will try to outdress you. Yes, you will. Some will be. Amen for position. That they might shine. Oh, Lord. What they're doing is to spray the flesh. Hallelujah. But the flesh, yeah, is a ruler. The flesh still has in it the nature of man. Oh, Lord. But those that have been born again, I say those that have been born again, and the Spirit of God in them, yeah, the Spirit of God is in the soul, and that soul is in the physical body, that natural body that yearns for the things of the world, that yearns for the pleasure of the world. That's why the Bible tells us, if we resist the devil, I said, if we resist this him, he'll flee from us. Isn't that right? We too have experienced a new conversion around the kind of leadership, amen, that we have seen. Go oh on. Once the preacher had respect to God Almighty, they would acknowledge him. Everywhere he go, part of the public, they know him. Yeah. But now, you can't tell one from the other. To God Almighty, because you're speaking Jesus, doesn't qualify you as a man of God. When leaders, yeah, they have amazing talents, amen, and best practice skills, they're communicating, personal, and interpersonal. My God, when they stand behind the podium, when they open their mouths to speak, it seems as though they are magnetized. My God, their mannerism seem to attract or influence the people. All they see, some of them, is entertainment. They'll holler out, preach, preach. The God Almighty, the word should be touching them. The word should be moving them. Yeah. The God Almighty, before, <coughs> thank you, Jesus. <coughs> thank you, Lord. The spiritual and emotional depth has been acquired or has been matured. In other words, we put immature people in the pulpit because they say, God call me. The God of man, if God call you, then you are obedient. The word of God. You strive to do God's will. Isn't that right? <coughs> Thank you, Jesus. Uh, yes. but, amen. Whether you have best practice or not, amen. However, you are influencing, amen, the people of God. Amen. You have a great responsibility, amen, to lay it upon you. In a day, an age of leaders are confused about themselves. Some think that they are celebrities and deserve to be honored. Good God Almighty. Hallelujah. The church, I said the body of Christ, needs to experience a new conversion. A come to Jesus movement. Yeah, that kind that affects the food field as well as the congregation. What is 
due responsibility as a member. When you experience, yeah, there's something in your eyes. Your resolve is to pray to God Almighty. Your resolve is to pray, my love, for the prayer of the righteous. Thank you, brother. The prayer of the righteous. Ha, obey mother. Ha, the God of you ha, that in your own set me. Turn up my anointing ha, and do my prophet ha, no harm. Ha, when you pray, ha, prayer changes things. Ha, when you pray, ha, God will move upon your prayer. Ha, the righteous prayer ha, or the prayer of the righteous. Ha, my Lord. Ha, come to Jesus, preacher. Ha, lay aside the weights and sin. Ha, come to Jesus, preacher. Ha, God called you. Ha, you're responsible. Ha, the preacher didn't see you. Ha, you're responsible. Ha, amen. To live it. Ha, that others might know. Ha, it can be done. Ha, it can be done. Ha, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Ha, but it seems. Ha, are we choosing leaders ha, who are striving ha, for the next viral bite, a sound bite? Ha, thank you, Jesus. Ha, are we choosing preachers? Ha, amen. Are looking for the next ha, big paycheck? Oh, Lord. Ha, are we choosing preachers ha, that are humble ha, before the Lord? Ha, good God Almighty. Ha, are we allowing ha, sin to stop? Bye bye. Ha, yeah. Ha, just to have ha, a large congregation. Ha, I won't preach on fornication. Ha, yeah. Ha, because men out there are like that. Ha, I won't preach on homosexuality. Ha, because some of them are in my church. Ha, good God Almighty. Ha, ooh. Ha, sin is sin. Ha, oh, the righteousness of sin. Ha, you must declare it. Ha, if it's in your home, ha, you got to still preach it. Ha, good God Almighty. Ha, you must be that example ha, of love. Ha, could God still love them? Ha, even in that condition, ha, God still love him. Ha, for the earth is the law. Ha, and the fruit of their all. Ha, and they that dwell therein. Thank you, Jesus. We must be aware. The prayer changes things. Yeah, if the blind lead the blind, y'all know the results. They all fall into the ditch. There might be more preachers in hell. They're all their members. The God Almighty. When you use a magnifying glass, sometimes we all can have a closer look. Ha, at who they are, ha, and that looking glass ha, is the word, ha, is the word. Did that right? Thank you, Jesus. Ha, look at yourself. Ha, amen. You will consider ha, what's going on. Ha, good God Almighty, ha, you afraid ha, to speak up? Ha, yeah, ha, you afraid ha, to let your voice be known ha, properly? That is, in the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. It ain't cold and good. Thank you, Lord. Are we contributing to, amen, this manifestation and rise of leaders, amen, that have forsaken the word of God, amen, and looking to have their possession, amen, their own private jet. They're going to have in their possession a big house on the hill that cost millions of dollars. <laughs> yeah, forgetting about the flock <laughs> and focusing on themselves. <laughs> yeah, having a phone <laughs> of godliness, <laughs> but denying the power of their all. <laughs> Good God Almighty. <laughs> Not exercising <laughs> the faith that they declare. <laughs> faith <laughs> is a mountain mover. <laughs> faith <laughs> is a joy restorer. <laughs> Faith ha, is a hope in life. Ha, yes, it will. Ha, if you hold on, ha, faith will keep you steadfast, ha, unmovable, ha, always abounding ha, in the work of the Lord. Ha, knowing that you labor in Him is not in vain. Ha, isn't that right? 
<laughs> Pastor, the leader. <laughs> Amen. Sometimes <laughs> do what it takes <laughs> to get a member in the pew. <laughs> Not see. <laughs> they won't preach out of each other. <laughs> yeah, they want to keep that member. <laughs> but when they're here, <laughs> that they got a repent of their sin, <laughs> they've enjoyed what they're doing. <laughs> they don't want you to preach it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some are just preaching <laughs> what they think the people <laughs> really want to hear. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Ha, but let me remind you, ha, there's only two ways to go. Ha, it's heaven ha, or it's hell. Ha, there's no middle ground. Ha, hallelujah. Ha, for the preacher ha, or the member, ha, there's no middle ground. Ha, but the way to get on board, ha, if you're repenting of your sin, ha, recognize that I've erred, ha, I've fallen away. Ha, but there's a way back. Ha, if the prodigal son ha, can make it back, ha, you too ha, can make it back. Ha, good God Almighty, ha, when you come to your senses, ha, when you come to yourself, ha, I've sinned ha, against my father. Ha, I've sinned ha, against heaven. Ha, hallelujah. Ha, Lord, forgive me. Ha, my God. Ha, uh, as I close here, uh, let me remind you uh, that we don't choose Baptists uh, based on uh, the many conferences uh, that they preach at, uh, the many conventions uh, that they're called to teach, uh, that they're gifting skill. Uh, oh, uh, what kind of life are they living? Uh, you got a mighty. Uh, how many book deals uh, do they have waiting for them? Uh, my God. How many followers uh, are they influencing? Uh, I know I got a root behind me. Uh, I ain't got to worry. Uh, they ain't know what I'm doing. Uh, they ain't saying nothing about it. Uh, they're my friends. Uh, yeah. Uh, they're not going to tell me. Uh, my God. Uh, well, any man uh, that's on the devil's side uh, is a friend of the devil. Uh, you cannot serve God. Uh, and man and you. I know I'm talking about the preacher, but his word goes to every soul. Thank you, Jesus. We're more responsible. Amen. To teach it, to preach it, and above all, to live it. Yeah. We put emphasis on the living part. Those who are worthy. Uh, amen. We proclaim uh, I'm a rich and a sinner. Uh, and Lord, I need you. Uh, I've got myself in a mess. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and you're the only one uh, that can get me out. Uh, here I am, Lord. Uh, forgive me, Lord. Uh, here I am, Lord. Uh, restore me. Uh, yeah. Uh, hallelujah, Jesus. Uh, with a man of God. Uh, Look at success in the ministry ha, as a house full of folks. Ha, yeah. Ha, and having fame ha, and his ability to preach ha, and articulate the word. Ha, yeah, that's not ha, being successful ha, in God's ministry. Ha, be successful? Ha, first, you gotta be humble. Ha, be God Almighty. Ha, humble ha, and trustworthy. Ha, be God Almighty. Humble, ha, yeah, ha, before the Lord you go. Ha, if you're not there, ha, you may climb the ladder to get there. Ha, the church leaders must claim ha, and maintain that role ha, of being an under shepherd. Ha, the one that God has placed, ha, yeah, ha, to shield ha, and defend the sheep. Ha, if one goes straight, ha, they leave the many ha, and go get the one. Ha, yeah, ha, they don't send somebody else, ha, but they go themselves. Ha, they call them. Ha, I'm concerned ha, about your soul. Ha, because there's a member go, ha, they'll say something else ha, that they ought not to say. Ha, but you deserve to stay home. Ha, what they, how they treat you, ha, I, I'm with you. Ha, my God, ha, thank you, Jesus. Because of the very real challenge of the church, ha, leaders, 
Uh, amen. They must maintain that posture uh, of righteousness and true holiness. Uh, it's time, praise God, uh, to pray them out of the pulpit. Uh, it's time to pray until they repent. Uh, don't just accept the garbage that they're giving you. Uh, keep praying. If everybody get together uh, with one accord and pray, uh, let the power of God come down uh, and move them uh, or convert them. Ha. Lord, not my will, ha. but that will be done. Ha. Too many souls are being influenced negatively. Ha. Amen. By the pastor's attitude. Ha. By the pastor's lifestyle. Ha. Amen. You shouldn't be here. Ha. You shouldn't be doing that. Ha. I thought you were a pastor. I thought you were a preacher. Right on. So they blame it on the church. The church ain't nothing now. Yeah. Amen. Don't have that respect that they used to have for the church. Amen, because of so much that goes on. But God promised us that the gates of hell shall not prevail. So don't give up on God. That soul that be calling you ruckus in hell, may one day be a pastor. May one day be uh, as a woman a missionary. Amen. But don't look at them that way. Let the wheel and the chair go together. Amen. And God will do the separating when he comes. Amen. Because of our, fo our, our focus. Amen. It's a, have that form of godliness that has the power through our faith. Amen. Amen. To stand and wait on God. Wait until our change come. Amen. No matter how long it takes, wait until our change come. Amen. 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 We must be accountable and not let sin run rampant when we come to worship. Amen. We got the power to tell that devil, sit down over there. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, be quiet over there. Thank you, Jesus. We got that power. Yep. And not disturb the atmosphere that we might continue to worship God. Okay, okay. Some might begin to dance, moving their feet left and right, up and back. Hallelujah, Jesus. When the Spirit moves upon you, you don't know how you're going to act. Ah, because you're out of control. You're not yourself now. It's the Spirit that moves you. Spirit. I remember on fast days on the phone, Spirit knocking people down. They're falling down hard on a concrete floor. They've only got a rug over it. People sometimes wonder, oh, yeah, I know here, right? They should be praying and thanking God that the Spirit is moving upon them. God will keep them from injury. Yes. Amen. If they're faking, they're going to get hurt. Well, amen. If you're faking it, fall down. Mm -hmm. You find out that that concrete is real. Mm -hmm. You can't play with God. Ask yourself to see them. Amen. They thought they could cast out demons because Paul did. Uh -huh. When the demon came, it ripped them out of their clothes and had them to flee, but they thought they had in the name of Jesus, Paul Jesus. You need to have the power and faith in God. Yes, Amen. They exercise that power that is within you, that resonates within your soul. Man, you don't have to let the devil ride. Amen. I said, you don't have to let the devil ride. Amen. Don't let it break up your family. Uh -huh. Don't let it break up your finances. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't let it break up your confidence in God. Thank you, Jesus. Surround yourself with people that love the Lord. Amen. Amen. That can encourage you. Amen. Amen. A person that went through five or six divorces can't give you marital advice. Mm. My God. If they could, they would have done it themselves. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Help, help. At this point, I've got more to say, but I won't say it. Yes. I'll give it over to Elder William that he might have remarks and have our altar call for those that are here as well as those that are on Facebook. Amen. My back don't feel as bad as it was when I started. But I know after I sit down for a little while, it's coming back. But I ain't going to stop preaching. Amen. Not until the Lord take me home. I ain't going to stop. Amen. Because my soul is at stake. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. What a beautiful message. As Bishop was speaking, like you say, having a form of godliness, but deny the power thereof. And the Lord remind me what he said in Luke, the sixth chapter, verse 32 and 33. If you can only love those who love you, he said, what have you been a sinner? You want to be kind with those kind, what have you been a sinner? The Lord said, that's when we deny the power thereof. You know, if your wife say, I don't love you no more, so now, you go deny the power of God. The Lord say, love those who hate you. Love Bless them. Love them. I don't love you no more. You ain't love me. The, 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 the husband say, I love you, but I love you too, honey. But 
then we say, I don't love you no more. I'm going to divorce you. Well, go ahead. No, I don't care. I'm going to divorce you too. The Lord says that, that's when we deny the power thereof. When somebody loves us, then we love them. Somebody kind of, because they ain't going to say, oh, I'm sorry for throwing that in your yard. You pick it up, but then you got the power of God. But, yeah, I throw it over there. I need to throw it over there. Now you're going to find some washer to throw it in his yard. You get back there. Why? You deny the power thereof. And Jesus want to remind us what he said. You know, in, 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 in Matthew, the 10th chapter 2, he said, if you deny me before men, I deny you before the Father. Because he asked us in, in, in Matthew, the 5th chapter, verse 38 and 39, he said, the law said, eye for an eye, a two for a two. But I say, if your enemy smite you on the left cheek, turn the right. The Lord said, that's really not alone. You know, somebody slapped you. You know, he said, you got preachers in the pulpit, a pulpit not to cut up somebody to cook somebody else with. If he got a gun in his car, he'll go get his gun and shoot somebody up this to cook as somebody else will. So that's why the Lord said, having a form of godliness, denying the power thereof. And when we do this here, when you get revenge and don't do like he said in, in Romans 12 and 19, Jesus said, vengeance is mine. I repay the same Lord. So, you know, if the wife don't talk to the Lord, help me to talk to him right. The husband don't talk to me, help me to talk to him right. Lord, if the boss don't talk to him right, help me to talk to him right. Help me not to deny you, dear God. Then Jesus said in Matthew, the 16th chapter, verse 24, if any man is out of walk out, we got to first deny ourselves. No, we got to deny ourselves. Crucify this faith. Paul said in 1 Corinthians 15, 31, I die dead. So this is what God will remind us that we need to do before we go to bed at night. We get up in the morning. Lord, help me to die daily. Uh -huh. Help me to die right now. John the Baptist said in St. John the third chapter, verse 30, I must decrease that Christ may increase. So what does that need to do? Lord, mold me and make me to be like you. You are the potter, and I am the clay. So move me that I be just like you, that I will decrease right now. When somebody talking to me the wrong way, treat me the wrong way, spitting in my face, that me. You say, well, I can't do that, but that ain't what Paul said. Paul said in Philippians 4, 13, I can do all things through Christ. But we got to ask God to move. We can't do it ourselves. We got to ask God to mold us and make us because he are the potter. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy Christ Jesus, tried and true, and with thanksgiving, I will be a living sanctuary. Are you, O oh Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy Christ Jesus, tried and true, and with thanksgiving, I will be a living sanctuary.
Nobody forgot you that we can hear what your spirit is saying to the church this evening. Touch our hearts on the day we hear your heart heart. Lord, whether we've been slapped, whether we've been stepped on yet, God, prepare us to be a living secondary for you. This we need. Mold us and make us this evening. You are the potter and we're the clay. That we are coming to God's to you and let you teach us how to pray together. Seek your first together with God, that I may hear from heaven, hear from heaven. Strengthen all of us from weekend, pour it down, dear God. Then we may teach that way, and dear, dear God, teach that way, and dear God, then we can, we can, we can be more humble and obedient to serve you in your name. We pray, Amen, Amen. Mm-hmm. Then it's time for our Christ bits, uh, listeners, and they're going to be by the Christian Church members. Let's start reading the hearts, Amen. 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 We know that time is winding up, but it's just so good to be ready. That's what my pastor always said, Superintendent uh, Green, E.M. Green. Amen. We thank and praise God for Diane Garrett, amen, being with us, amen, this afternoon. Thank you so very much. And for Sister Dolores Griffith, amen, hallelujah. And uh, we thank and praise God for Mother Patricia Wright, amen, that she's always with us, amen. And for Deacon John Matthews. All the way from Louisiana. Amen. It's in the house today. We thank and praise God for all of you. Amen. Until next time. Amen. We ask the Lord to continue to bless you and your family. In Jesus' name. At this time, I turn this part of service back in the hands of the poor pit. Amen. Praise the Lord once again. I want to thank everyone here at 519 South Pearl Street and the face for listening. We're going to have our benediction to our brother. Bishop William, excuse me, Bishop Eric Kane. Let us read it with a hearty amen. Amen. He was close. That's my dad. Amen. <laughs> Truly, we do thank God for that word. Amen. And amen. We need to be mindful of the times that we are living in. Amen. amen. Heavenly Father, we just want to say thank you again thank you, for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. allowing us to come together to worship, and God, even more so, to hear your word, O oh Lord, that our souls may be fed, and we may continue to move forward. Lord God, we prepare now to leave this place whenever your presence. Yes, Go with us, watch over, and keep us until we come together again. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. amen.